Okay, everyone. So I hope you saw part A. We are into part B, the commentary. Wow. So 17 and 16. Then we have an 18-year-old. And he's also accompanied by a 16-year-old. Four teenagers. What are they doing? Assaulting women. Carjacking. Robbery. R-A-P-E. Keep on trying to cape for these, uh, these demons among us. Teenagers. See, here's what I think they should do if it were up to me. What I would do is do a roundup. Let's find out, okay, where do you live? If it's with the mother or mom and dad, let's do an interview. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I would do is an interview, and what I would want to do is to basically try to gauge uh, what, what's going on here. Now, if it turns out to be one of those, oh, not my son. Oh, no, he wouldn't do that. Corey wouldn't do that. Well, hell, Corey looks like he did. That's what he's accused of doing. Over Rodriguez, he didn't do not to me, ho. Not to me, ho. I would want to gauge it. And if I saw like a pro my son attitude. And by the way, this is right here, Oven, Miho right here. He's committed a similar crime before. They just found that out with this arrest. So he's done this before. I guess this time he just got caught. What if he hadn't gotten caught? Carjacking women, assaulting you, making you pull out your cash at the ATM machine. These teenagers. Robbing you, take your phone, take your car. Found naked in the bushes. Found by our family. Oh, my gosh. Needs to be put down like the animal he is. But let me get back to what I was saying. So if it were up to me, I don't want to talk to the parents. Mom and dad, talk to him. Well, well, I don't think he did that. And when I saw that pro Dusty stance, I would take a stance too. He's not here. No. So she's pro son. She probably go, where's the daddy? We're going to find him too. Well, I didn't raise him. Maybe that's your darn problem. This is your DNA. I believe in accountability. So what we can do with accountability, how about we do this? He's not here. Okay, so you're the mother, and then and you're the father, or just the mom. We'll find the parents. Okay. In the meantime, here's what we're going to go ahead and do. We want to get some questions answered. We need to find out how do we get here. That's going, that's going to take some time. So right here, you are a contributor. Yeah, this is your DNA. I consider you a contributor. You're going to try to hold up the dust stain, dusty, deadly, assaulting banner. I consider you a contributor. So I'm going to go ahead and do is take you with us. Huh? That's what I said. You were the dust bucket disappearing dad without any warning. Just go pick him up. Now, no, 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 no. Well, you can leave a message for your son. Leave a little note or you can send him a text on his phone. Now, since you were supportive of your son, he said he wouldn't do this. What we're going to go ahead and do is hold you because you are a contributor. Why? This is your DNA that's doing this. Your DNA. Uh-huh. Poverty D, poverty C, get together and they unleash a tragedy upon society. So since you're our contributor because this is your DNA, we're going to go ahead and take you with us too. And you might, it might just be a week, but whenever your child shows up and turns himself in, then, you know, we, we, may, we may let you go. But because you're a contributor because it's your DNA, I'm going to need you to go ahead and come too. Well, I can't, but I didn't, ma'am, sir, it's your DNA. I consider you a contributor, an accessory. Because if you hadn't put this animal here, I mean, this person here, we would be having this problem. So you are a contributor. You're going to, sister, and you too, bruh. Miho, where your mom at? Peter. Well, wait a minute. Becky, you coming to anybody? Yeah. When you sense the pro dusty stands, well, I don't want him to do all that. Well, that's not what we're showing right here. And, it's, and if it's DNA too, oh, I'll go get the parent too and lock them up. If they're on any kind of government assistance, boop, you're off within 30 days. What am I going to do? Hell, if I know what they don't need you to do is to reproduce. Because we can't pay you to terrorize society. That's what we're doing. We're terrorizing you. And him right here, I don't know where he came from. How we know he to come out or uh, just, just get into the country illegally? We don't know. They're not doing background checks. The border is open. Anybody and their mama can come in. 
So I said, get the parents. Lock them up. When your son turns himself in, then we'll do a switcheroo. In the meantime, boo, you come with us, boo. Cut off all any kind of financial assistance. If there's a stimulus coming, cut it off. Hell, the first time around, I didn't, I, I didn't get to get a stimulus. I logged in and they said I didn't qualify. Everybody's going to check. But me and some of my friends, we didn't get it, the $1,400 check. But some people really need it, so I, I get it, I get it, I get it. That's what they should do and take them off benefits. Baby mama, if you find, uh, like you see on these shows, First 40, all these criminal shows, and you see that they look up here and they're harboring these guys, I would go ahead and just take them off. Oh, that sounds cruel. But guess what? The things that they do, that, that's cruel too. Imagine being that woman found in the bushes naked. Assaulted. You don't know might have some kind of disease. Might end up pregnant with the child of these, of these trash pots. You don't know what kind of disease these things got. Put yourself in her position. Animals. So, yeah, I believe in accountability. Oh, that could change some things up, PDQ. Oh, it could really change some things up. Because, see, when they commit these crimes, somebody's hiding them out. They're laying their head somewhere. And, and you have to be stupid to think, well, the parents don't know what these kids are doing. You are so very naive. A lot of times the parents know darn well what they're doing. They just had a mother who was driving the kids around to commit crimes and robberies. And one of the kids was like, was like maybe 11 years old. Really? These teenagers, I'm telling you, a lot of them, they do hate their mothers. That's why they commit these crimes. They really hate women. But they don't have anywhere to go. So they go out to society and they act up. A lot of them do hate their moms, their, their mothers. That's why they do that. They want to hurt women. So I hope they put them in population. Uh, you reap what you sow. I hope that karma comes quick. I hope they get what they gave. And if it's, uh, so I would definitely get the parents off any kind of financial and, uh, incentive program where they need help. Oh, I sure would. And if it's one that's middle class of means, I would start doing the fine. You, well, I have to go to work. You going on this jet. Well, I'm a professional. I don't give a darn. It's your DNA, boo boo. You can ready to go with us today. Medical bills, the women are going to need for testing, psychological. They should compile all that together. Women, been a, uh, they're being victims of crimes like this here. They may need some time off work. Because this is the trash you put in. This is your DNA. So what they should do, even if they have means, go ahead and file a lawsuit. Go ahead and freeze that checking account. Oh, yes. This is your DNA accountability. See, parents don't want to have, and some of the parents will let you know, hey, the kid is just not going to do it right. I've tried my best. That I can understand. We'll make an exception. But when you find them trying to go so uh, pro-dusty, not my son. Well, Peter didn't do that, and they got a, the woman is alive and can pick him out. Are you kidding me? It, it wasn't me, ho, or the hell it was, bro. It was him. I know it wasn't my son. It wasn't Corey. It was him. Accountability. So, yeah, I consider them an accessory. This is your DNA. Now, if you taught the kid right from wrong and they still want to act crazy and engage in this behavior, that's different. But a lot of this behavior has been coddled. Anyway, that may sound extreme. Oh, my gosh, that's extreme. Are you kidding? That's wrong. Well, guess what? What happened to those women was wrong. Th that was extreme. Put yourself in a position. That was extreme. What happened to those women? That was ex extreme. And it wouldn't have happened. But somebody put this trash here. Somebody put this trash here. Somebody raised it. Somebody put this trash here. They didn't just go boop and pop off Mars into a human being as a teen. Somebody put this trash here. Somebody gave birth to this trash. Somebody created a man and a woman. So accountability. That's why I consider them, unless they raise the child to do the right thing and the kid just goes off on their own, I, I get it. But when you call this behavior, I consider you an accessory. So they should be charged accordingly. Anyway, that's extreme again. Think of what those women went through. Okay? So that's my opinion. Uh, hey, I'm. Let, let's hear yours. Feel free to come, like, subscribe, and share. Simply sat here on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts. Ladies, be safe. Be aware. Look around before you get out of your vehicle. Please, please. And it won't hurt to have that CCW. 
I, this is one is in uh, what Harris County, that's Houston, it's Texas. One in Palm Beach, you know they got the CCW, and maybe sometime before you you see somebody come walking down the street, have it on your baby, or maybe sit in your car till they leave. If you if you sit in your car and they not getting out, sit in your car, drive around the block, ha have it on you. I'm just gonna go right in. One was what well, putting her church, her driver coming in from a concert, have it on you, and it, it, and if you see them coming, stop, and they still coming, I would just shoot because you already know what they plan on doing. If you said stop, rule out, and they keep on coming, you just shoot. We're not going to play this little game with you, little boy. That, to me, would be justice. So, I'm out of here, people. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts. Again, simply said on YouTube. Thanks for watching.